today is a very exciting day, okay? Because today, today is the day where we continue the mega canopy of the Omega Tree. I gotta be honest, I'm really, really excited, but I've also really been dreading this day, okay? Because I know just how long it took me to make this one branch look semi-organic, all right? Semi-organic, because still, to this point, it still doesn't look fully organic. I mean, this, this branch over here still looks a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie, it still looks a little bit unsupported, but my hopes are, my hopes are that when I add the second branch, or the second mega branch, or main branch, which I'm gonna add on this, on this nook here, I think, my hopes are that it all looks a little bit more supported. And if I'm wrong, well, then I may have to redo the entire base structure of this branch here. So yeah, it's, it's a very, it's a very, very scary step. Now the good news is that I started with a diagonal branch and I didn't actually, I didn't actually say much about it, but I started off by doing one of the diagonal branches, which is supposedly a little bit tougher to get right. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to see just how impossible the task was. So hopefully, building this straight or more straightish branch over here is gonna be a little bit easier. But as I said, I am dreading it. I am mega nervous about it because I don't wanna get it wrong. I really, I really don't wanna get it wrong. One wrong branch and this entire tree is just not gonna look good. It's just not gonna look good. And since we're building organic shapes, well, everything is kind of up to, everything is kind of up to interpretation, to be honest. There is no right or wrong. It's just what people think and how 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 you perceive it when you look at it. That being said, I am mega determined to get this branch up today or the second branch up today. And luckily, because of Rendog's incredible, incredible delivery, which by the way left my <laughs> left my diamond pie looking really cute, I suppose. Because of that delivery last episode, I think I have enough wood for one branch. It's quite silly when you think of it. <laughs> I'm breaking 10 Schalke boxes. 10 Schalke boxes full of oak logs. And I think that I have enough for one, one branch. That is ridiculous. I am going to be using quite a bit of the bark blocks. When I built this first branch, I mixed the bark blocks and the normal bark or the normal logs quite a bit. And this is, of course, what makes it extra expensive that I have to do this. So that's one... Well, that's two rolls of a Schalke box. Now I'm planning on sitting here and playing Minecraft for the next 10 hours straight, okay? I got my coffee brewed and I got my food all sorted out that I can just heat up. This is gonna be a, a day for me full of just building or placing down oak logs. But before I get started, I want to head over to the shopping district because at the end of the last episode, we created a micro block trading chest. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited to check it out and see if we have made any trades or if we have completely failed. <laughs> we may have completely failed. I'll take a look at this, the Cyclops. This is Mumbo Jumbo's brand new minigame that he have told me a lot about. The button. Cyclops. What is it? The button is alive and has to be kept alive by being pressed. The closer to death the button is when you save it, the higher rank you get, signified by a colored belt put on your skin. More reading, more reading, more reading, more reading. Basically, basically what this is, is this is a redstone clock that ticks, it ticks and it ticks very, very slowly and slowly it burns out the different lights on these colors until someone presses the button. When someone presses that button there, it all resets. Unless it goes all the way to the end, at which point it, it, it explodes, I guess. And so the idea is, whenever you pass this by, you want to click the button to help save it, but you also want it to be as close to death as possible. I mean, if you can get it to the red section over there, you get the highest tier belt there is. Because obviously everybody knows, the higher rank belt you have, the cooler you are. So, if I press it now, I'd... I'd I don't know if you get anything on the gray. The point is though that you you don't really want these low tier belts, okay? You, you they are not cool. 
Why are you there, by the way? Is that there's no spawn protection on that grey concrete. Mambo Jambo, nor down here. Anyway, I will be checking back on this every time I head to the nether. And my hopes are, my hopes are, of course, to get the highest tier because that's that's where that's where the coolest hermits live uh, but we'll have to see how it goes it's a very very exciting little experiment or minigame that he has done i have realized one thing i'm an absolute master at getting distracted on the hermits craft server but i mean can you blame me take take a look at this that's all of a sudden just popped up that is looking incredible i love that but we are here to check on the chest literally the chest right have we made any trades we have, we have, we haven't made that many, right? We haven't made that many, but it looks like we have got some of the ones that we didn't have. We packed ice. I think we actually need packed ice for the ice chest. We already have granite. Exceptional granite. <laughs> okay. I don't think I had cobblestone. Definitely didn't have these two, but I have the piston, which I think is way cooler than these two. And soul sand, I don't think I had either. The the, the good one is, though, the, the good one that we've got, though, is the packed ice. This one, yeah, that one is going to be great for our ice chest. The only problem is, is that if I take that out, someone else can put a new ice in. So I think I'm going to have to leave it. And maybe I'll have to do something to this to get a little bit more attention to it, because... There are free diamonds here, hermits. There are free, <laughs> there are free diamonds here. Anyway, I'll have to think about that a little bit. Now, while we're here, of course, we have to check on the island. And by the looks of things, we are almost completely sold out. So I left this with 21 diamond blocks. This is definitely more than 21, isn't it? Oh my goodness. I am getting mega rich. Look at this. What in the world? 43 diamond blocks so in total this island has made us well in total the island has made us 43 diamond blocks worth of profit that's a mega amount of stacks of diamonds can't believe that well i definitely think it's fair to say that we need to restock the cupcake of gems anyway again i'm getting distracted i've made a ton of diamonds here which i'm obviously very very happy about but the priority today, the priority today, as I said, is going to be our Omega Tree. Yeah, place back 21 of these and head back to the Omega Tree. I gotta say, that looks a lot better than just a little diamond cube. When I actually did a little bit of mining in between episodes, let's add these as well. Nice. Well, the time has come. My body is ready. It's time to get started on the next branch. And I'm gonna try and get this root thing sorted out first <laughs> this is really 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 scary i guess sometimes you just have to do it right i'm three hours in and things are actually going very well things are actually going very well i've only had to rebuild a branch a couple of times so far and i've come up with a new strategy i've come up with a new strategy for how to place these things down which is making the whole process a little bit easier and a little bit more enjoyable and that is instead of focusing on the main mega branch first i'm kind of doing the whole thing as i go because the problem i had when doing this thing this first branch over here was that it didn't feel like it was fitting and i kept taking it down and kept rebuilding it from this little part here and still to this day i just feel it looks a little bit weird there whereas with this branch instead i've i've gone all different sort of directions immediately and although it still has a long way to go and I still see a lot of small little ugly things, I think I'm off to a really good start. I definitely overused the amount of normal logs there though. Right, let's have a look at this now with that a little bit cleaned up. Yep, that's better. That's a lot better. I have a little bit of an idea for this sub branch here close to the trunk. I'm kind of picturing this thing going up and over and then going that way because i don't want to have a big like open space in at the end of this i want all of the branches to kind of form a natural canopy you know what i i think that could look really cool actually oh i, fe I fell down it's one of the mega problems doing this you, i keep falling down into holes and and stuff like that but yeah i think i think that could be a really cool little thing if i maybe bring it up a little bit more now, I realize this is a bit of a bold move, all right? It's a bit of a bold move to make this branch overlap, but 
I think, oh for goodness, did I fall down the exact same thing? <laughs> safety logs, all right, safety logs. Yeah, I do think that this could work. I do want to work a little bit more on the shape of it, but the general idea I think is cool. So now all of a sudden we have, we have a little bit of an arch here. Yeah, that doesn't look, that doesn't look weird. That actually looks pretty natural. I mean, granted, we still have to put leaves on these branches and all of that stuff. But once that is done, I think that is that is a really cool feature. Right, so with that sub-branch done, I think it's time to continue with the main branch. And this one, I want to go straight out from here. So I bent it already twice. And now I'm just going to try and go fairly straight and split it off into two, into two parts. Just like I did that main branch over there. And this is the point where things started going worse. I have spent over three hours since that last cutscene just trying to get this main branch to a state where I like it and have rebuilt this segment probably three times, probably, <laughs> probably three times by now. But I think, I think I'm getting happy with it. It is... It's really tricky. I didn't I didn't think about this, but it's really tricky to try and mimic the size of this first one I've done because I kind of need to keep it within the same length and same yeah same sort of size I suppose while thinking of the whole thing as an invisible sphere because obviously there there isn't <laughs> there isn't a sphere around it. This is the section here that I've added on and up here and I've also done a brand new thing where I've tried to go down and have a branch that's dropping down there. Now I still have a little bit left to do here and this is the last part of the main branch. So the split is right here and then I decided to go up and down and this one is just going to go a little bit out to kind of match up with this general area here. So overall I guess things are going things are going good. I mean things are going good. I am I'm really enjoying seeing this coming together. And here's an added feature, branch caves. I may have gone a little bit over the top, okay? I may, I may have gone a little bit over the top. This is now the next day and the 10 hours turned into 14 hours before I went to bed because I started experimenting with heights. I didn't just go straight out with that main branch there that we, or that, that I was working on. I also decided to go upwards and <laughs> this is looking, this is seriously looking like some crazy antler animal, a moose of doom. But honestly, even though it is looking a little bit all over the place, literally all over the place at the moment, I think that this shape is actually going to work. I think this shape is actually going to work. Now it is, it is extraordinary hard, extraordinary hard <laughs> to see if it is before I start putting down some of the leaves. So I think that's I think that's what I want to do next. I think I'm happy with the base sort of skeleton of this thing. Wood skeleton. Now last time I played around with leaves, we did the whole planting saplings underneath, growing them and letting them letting the canopy of the planted tree become the leaves. And that is that is a really, really cool idea. That's a really great idea. But I think to start off, I do want to place some down manually. So, I, I guess, I guess it's leaf hunting time. Now I'm estimating that I'm gonna need about six shulky boxes worth of leaves to get this to a state where it at least looks a little bit like a canopy and not, not a, wood, not a wooden skeleton. Well, this is looking rather lovely to be fair. I don't think I need to plant them quite as far apart though. Now time for the fun part. Watch out leaves. I so wish that you could dual wield items in Minecraft for real, like that I could swing with both of these. That would be mega. I don't know how useful it would be, alright? I don't know how useful it would be, but it would look mega cool. I honestly cannot believe that this is how Ren collected up the 10 Shulka boxes of oak logs. My goodness, Ren. Leaves. Lots of leaves. Leaves. Wood. Hello. Collecting leaves is quite fun. It's quite fun, quite satisfying. The first Shulky box you collect, all right? The first Shulky box you collect is quite fun. But after you've done a couple or or several, it gets it gets it gets a bit crazy. It gets a bit crazy. There's a lot of iron involved. I think I spent in total 20 iron blocks. But anyway, now that I have a bunch of leaves, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see this 
wooden skeleton. I lost what I was gonna say there. I cannot wait to get this wooden skeleton dressed. Seriously, I don't know a better word here. <laughs> now before I start placing down the leaves, can I just say, wow, Scar's base is really looking spectacular from here. And Mumbo has filled in every single one of his wrenches. And it looks, it looks, it looks insane. <laughs> it looks absolutely insane. I love the fact that these bases are so much closer than I originally like thought that they were. I mean, they aren't really that close. It's just that they are, they're all so big. <laughs> they're all so big and I love that. Oh, we're doing this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm having lunch. Um, ro roll the time lapse. I'll be honest, all right? I didn't think that this process would take as long as it did. But this time lapse is a four hour squish together time lapse. Unbelievable. This just took so much longer. <laughs> so much longer than I originally anticipated this step to take. And I think the reason for that, the reason for that is all of the different angles, having to get underneath the tree and all of that stuff. Now, one point during these four hours, I got visited by my good friend Grian. Pesky leaves. And he gave me some really strong advice on the whole leaf placement. He talked about making them more bushy looking by leaving holes and air spaces in the leaves themselves. And so I took that on. I thought that was a very, very good suggestion. And it just makes everything look a little bit more rich. Now, of course, doing that meant that it took even longer to, <laughs> to place down all the leaves. But he did have a good point. I don't want the leaves to look like they're hugging the branches. I also don't want the leaves to look like beard of the branches, which I, I know that may sound weird, but that's something that I was very worried about throughout placing down these leaves. Now, despite this taking a ridiculous amount of time for me to do, I'm really happy I did. And I think the result is very, very good. I mean, just look at it. It is slowly, but surely, actually turning into a tree. I am so... I am so proud of all of these placements. Now, granted, there are still definitely some sharp edges, all right? There are some sharp edges. There are things that don't look the greatest. But I think, I think the whole process is going to be a process over time. You can see a big difference in the leaves on this canopy or this branch here versus this first branch here. This is a lot more flat, a little bit more round, whereas this is a little bit more edgy. And that is because of the holes in the leaves at places, but it's also because I decided to make the leaves more hanging at the bottom. And I think I like that better than them just being flat. So I may come back to that branch later and kind of change it up. The next thing I wanna do now is I wanna take down my scaffolding that I've used here. And I know full well that I'm gonna to have to rebuild this later, but I think I think I wanna get a proper view at this without these dirt platforms and leaf platforms hanging about. Platform has truly been useful though. Come to think about it, I think in the nether update, the next update to Minecraft, they're adding the vines, which means that we could place them and then climb down and create platforms from above. That is gonna be <laughs> that is gonna be mega useful when you do things like this. Right, so platforms are gone. This is the first time I look at this without the support structures. Yes. Yes. I mean, again, again, all right, and I, I feel like I have to say this, it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect. There are definitely areas where I want to add more leaves as I go. But that being said, it's starting to look like a tree. It's actually starting to look <laughs> like a canopy. My goodness. This is without a doubt the biggest project I've ever undertaken in survival Minecraft and the amount of time and resources that is going into this process is it's ridiculous process I mean project I want to get a view from inside the tree canopy as well and yes 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 look at this it's not even it doesn't even fit in one single viewpoint anymore I actually have to turn my head <laughs> that's great news again I keep finding areas that <laughs> that aren't even remotely finished and that I definitely need to work on. And that being said, I will be doing several live streams from the Hermitcraft server working on the leaves 
in the future. So if you do want to be a part of that, then do make sure to follow me over at my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash iskal85. I can't believe I am actually standing in my canopy. This is such a great mega feeling. We can we can possibly start building things. We can possibly start building things up in the canopy pretty soon. Now there's something I've been wanting to do for the past two days as I've been working on on this branch and the canopy and I just haven't and now now it's time we do it. Get a belt. Yep, I want to get a belt. I want to get a belt in the button machine. I'm hoping that this hasn't been saved in a while. Oh, for goodness sake! Wait, does that mean that it's does that mean that it's dead or fully recharged? I don't want to get a gray belt. I mean, it even says, should you laugh at people who are a lower rank than you? Yes, 100% yes. And the gray rank is the lowest, so I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to risk that. Is there even a gray belt? To, I don't want to press the button, dude. Dude, I I know. I know I don't have a belt yet, okay? But but there's no reason to not look at me. <laughs> there's no reason to not look at me, okay? Oh, just give me some carrots. I will get a belt one day, and it will be better than grey. Ah, oh, he doesn't believe me. Now I have one more thing that I found out in the past two days by reading my Twitter and my comments. You guys have been telling me that the reason I had made so many diamonds in Iskaz Island, or my treasure island, is because Etho, the crazy ninja Canadian of Doom, apparently went and spent every single diamond he has in order to get a golden ticket. And he spent it at the treasure island. Now for those of you who've been watching my videos, you know that you get the golden tickets in the slime shop and not at the go at, at the treasure island. Now granted, I think I think I put one treasure uh, golden ticket in the, the 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 island, but I think that was in the jackpot, which I think is already gone. So mega golden ticket. We are going to give Etho this mega golden ticket, which gives him access to the gold that he farms in the gold farm. Why? Because it's kind of mad. Ah, that's Randog's face. That's, that's Randog's face. I can't find my own head. I guess there's only one thing to do. It's equally scary every time. <laughs> so, once again, why? It's Kalman. We do good deeds. And it seems like things has definitely changed since I was last here. This is looking... It's looking really cool. Wait a minute, is he using a beacon as de as a decorational piece? Yeah, that, that can't be a functional beacon, right? Apparently some people already have too many beacons, I guess. I also really love this thing in the background, a chicken uh, thing and a, a, a bird. Right, so what we'll do is we'll put this down there on the floor and then let me just need some signs. Dear Etho, I heard that you spent all of your diamonds at Iskal's treasure island. Thank you. I heard you did that because you wanted a golden ticket, which you get at the slime shop. Anyway, Iskal man exists. Etho gets mega golden ticket. P.S. It grants you any gold you farm in the farm. Iskal man. Iskal man. That's a little bit weird, isn't it? Any gold you farm in the farm farm. Well, now it's on a sign, can't be changed ever. Is it better than grey? Is it better than grey? It's still grey. As this has been a couple of days since I checked the trading chest, I figure we should check it again. And we've got more blocks! Yes, we've got more blocks! We've got a chest! we got a chest, that's a good one! I'm, I'm The one that I really, really want is the crafting table, but chest is also really, really good. And black concrete, that's big as well. Yes, okay, so this is, this is definitely working. Although a bit slow, I think what I'm going to do is add one diamond to a few of these so that that incentivizes to be here as soon as possible and then you can trade you can trade for one of these slots instead. I guess I'm going to change this up for a diamond in the chest note if the microblock does not exist. I just realized I misspelled exist on Etho signs. Well, I am Swedish for a diamond slot in this chest. As long as it's not already in the chest. Enjoy your free diamonds. Belt, still gray. I guess no belt for me today. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for today. Now, I really do hope that you've enjoyed this mega sode of Hermitcraft. I'm really, really, really happy with 
the progress we made on the tree. This is actually starting to look like a canopy, isn't it? I mean, again, there are some things that I need to fix, all right? There are some things that I need to fix, but it is starting to look like a canopy. So, as I said, I really do hope that you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you dudes in the next episode. Oh, and by the way, tomorrow, Tuesday, 21st of April, me and Mambo are going to most likely do a duo stream from the Hermitcraft server. We're gonna go end busting. It's gonna be around 3 p.m. UK time if everything works out, and I'm gonna be streaming on twitch.tv slash 5 and Mambo will be streaming on his YouTube channel. Don't miss it.